I'm Lewis. This is Curtis. And he's Ashley. We're gay, but we haven't always found it easy to be who we are. I pushed myself into kissing loads of girls and that, but it wasn't the fact that it was the wrong girl, it was the fact that it was the wrong gender. I'm not the stereotype, flamboyant, gay. I'm, I don't come across as that sort of person. How would I describe the gay scene in St Ives? It's not really a thing. <laughs> so now we're heading out to Mykonos. Party Island and paradise for guys like us. We want to find out what it feels like to fit in. We're here to work, but plan to have as much fun as we can. This is a story of our first gay summer. What up, gay boys? My name is Lewis and I'm a full-time lettings negotiator. Just arrived in Mykonos, woo! <laughs> Literally I'm so excited. I'm a boy from the suburbs. It's my first gay holiday and I'm here to spread my big gay wings. I'm from Leeds. I'm funny, I'm charming, I'm handsome and I'm extremely modest. I've always been different. I hit puberty and started fancying guys. I tried to get the thoughts out of my head, but it didn't work. Growing up, definitely, I wish that I weren't gay. I mean, at that point, I didn't have any gay role models. I didn't really know that many, I didn't know any gay people. So it was just sort of try to adapt myself to what I was used to and what I was surrounded by. Even to the point where I really sort of pushed myself into trying to sort of find a girlfriend and I pushed myself into, I mean, going out and kissing loads of girls and that sort of thing. I thought in my head that if I kissed that enough girls, I'd find one that I liked, but it wasn't the fact that it was the wrong girl, it was the fact that it was the wrong gender. I'm a raging homosexual, and I can't wait to explore the scene in Mykonos. I like I'm in Mamma Mia. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually here. I won't be kissing any more girls. I'm here to find Prince Charming, or lots of Prince Charmings, actually. I'm ready to sort of experience really, really gay. <laughs> He's not the only one looking for a big gay adventure. Oh, hey, is that the bar I'm working in? That looks so nice. That there. is actually really nice. I'm Curtis, the hot one in the hat. I'm nervous, but I'm trying not to show it. I've never even been abroad before. I've never, like, I've never gone to a gay club up here. I don't. The only gay people I see, I think I see like one gay person yesterday when I was trying to buy this earring. And I went in there, I think the woman knew I was gay. And she walked up to the guy like, oh yes, can you please serve him? Apart from that, I think that's like the only gay I've seen up here. <laughs> I mean, of course, well, I'm gay. We want to label it like that. I'm just an everyday 21 year old really living in society that everyone's doing social media, just a normal going out drinking, partying, just a normal. I'll go to work, finish work, come home, wash my soaps, have a bath, walk with the dogs, and I go to sleep. Well, I sit on my phone for a few hours and fall asleep, and then repeat until Friday comes. <laughs> I've been on holiday, but it's only in England, so I don't really class it as a holiday. So going away into a gate, I don't know how I'm going to act. Because I know over here, like, I, if I see guys try on with me, I look, I'm like, and that's, that's all I really do. So now I'm going out there, it's not going to be that, so I can just be me. Anyway, let's talk about Ashley, the guy in the shirt. All I know is he's from St. Ives, which I'm guessing is even less gay than Dunstable. Bless him. There are meant to be like loads of 19th century um, windmills around, but I haven't seen one so far. I'm Ashley. I don't know how to flirt, but I want to find out. How would I describe the gay scene in St. Ives? It's, uh, it's not really a thing. <laughs> I've never had a relationship with a guy before. You know, I've been on like various dates with people um, and literally the only one that, that resulted in more than one day, I think we just ended up becoming friends instead. So I've never, never had like a proper relationship with a, with a guy before really. Oh, one more bus to go. I'm staying in a hostel outside of town. Can I get um, a ticket to Paradise? Thank you. Paradise Resort. I hope it's got thick walls and a bed that's big enough for two. Better white pen salesman would make an absolute killing. 
<laughs> Your whereabouts are you staying? Uh, in Paradise. Okay, great, yeah. Yeah, that's where we're going. <laughs> This must be Parago. I really want to see what it's like to be in a really inclusive environment. Our hostel at Parago Beach. It doesn't seem that great here, but at least the guys look good. Me and Ashley are going to share. Have you ever been to hostels before then? No. So, like, what are your expectations? To be touched in the middle of the night like cockroaches. <laughs> have rats come up to me and nibble my toes, so... Where do you think Lewis is staying? Like, what do you think about him? Well, uh, hopefully we can meet him later and find out. I'm hoping he's a nice guy. Yeah, well, he seems nice. I'm going to be myself in a place. I'm going to be learning to know myself, really, so... That might sound weird, cos I'm very much me over here. Yeah, not yeah, thinking, yeah. does this person know this person? Is this person going to be watching? I haven't got to think about nothing. I can do something without thinking about what's going to happen later. It's nice and cosy in here. Isn't it just? Yeah, I like to sleep on the left. I'm so glad you've gone to the right. right. I'll sleep over here. Oh, oh mine are a oh, bit more neck. pink than yours. I like this, you know, matching, but just enough matching. Just matching, but not quite the same. Um, what's going to be happening when we bring guys home? I um, mean, we're just going to... We have these beds. <laughs> Everyone's going to hear oh, everything. God. We're going to have to take it in turns to, like, sleep outside with, when we... Well, I mean, if I'm drunk and it's bringing someone home, you better close your eyes and turn over. Or you I'll just... It's OK, I can stick a pillow over my head. So this is paradise. Ooh, I'm being attacked. Ooh. Well, I guess this is home. Nice. Two beds, I can lay like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or, like, push them together, I can bring a boy back. Oh, broken the thingy. Get unpacked. Oh, there's some uh, nice baby wipes there if you get yourself into a bit of a sticky situation. Modium for a running bum. Anash curlers and a secret compartment. Crappy condoms and shitty lube. Let's get myself some shorts on. I don't know. I'm just going to go play outside and see what happens. Oh my god, this is more like it. Paradise Beach and it's on my doorstep. Am I dreaming? Oh my God, it's insane here. I hope I don't wake up in my bed in Leeds. I should have gone to the gym before I came here, shit. Like, literally, it's amazing. I'm so happy to be here. I mean, the guys are gorgeous, they're all tan, muscly. Oh, look at this bloke. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Kid in a candy store. Yeah, so what do you think he's going to be like, though? Because you've texted him, haven't you? I'm literally just messaging him now. I'm going to tell him. Um, Where's he going to meet us? He's going to meet us by the... Ooh, I nice. Think. I mean, yeah. like, as long as he's someone I can get on with. No. I hope he's just not really annoying. I can't stand annoying people. I mean, you're going to get on well with me then, hopefully. Hopefully. You're not annoying yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, so many beautiful men. <laughs> All these men. I'm apprehensive about, um, kind of, like, the people I'm going to meet. The gay scene in general, you know, I've been to a few gay clubs, and that's literally been it. You don't get this in Dunstable. I don't even know where to start. Right, I'm looking for uh, a twink and a hat and an Adonis. I'm guessing that's them. The thing about the gay scene is that everything's in boxes. There are different tribes. I mean, I know a few. Um, I know there are, I think there's Otter, Bear, Twink. I'm more attracted to Otters. I can't say Daddy if my dad's going to watch this. <laughs> I don't know all of them. I know you get Bear, I think it's like a, a hairy man. Someone that's like really feminine or like, or you need to get masculine ones that are obviously buff, hench ones. Get like down low ones, ones that are hiding in the in the closet, sleeping out. I don't even know what I'd class myself as, to be honest. I mean, I'd like to think I'm an otter, but I'm not that hairy, so I'm probably going to go towards the twink. Yeah, as long as I think I'm handsome, that's all that counts. <laughs> oh, this gay guy told me that um, if you give another gay guy eye contact for like more than I think it's like ten seconds, it means you want to like have sex with them. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what I got told. So I was like, <laughs> sometimes I go into bars, just like. 
So it gives them <laughs> eye contact. It's like, look at me. Yeah, no, I think that's like the normal thing. Yeah. If you do make eye contact with someone longer than eight seconds, you either want to kill them or have sex with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let, let me look at you for eight seconds. What do you think I'm going to do? Definitely sex. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. Ashley, Curtis and me. Three small fish in a massive gear pond. Heaven. And my hopes the rest of the time here on the island are to potentially meet a nice guy, someone that I really get on with, and creating a relationship with someone and just finding someone that maybe makes me feel good about myself because I've not found that yet with anyone. Being here has just given me the opportunity to actually really challenge myself in the same way that I wouldn't be able to around my friends or my family. It's, it's nice, like you haven't got to think about what you're saying, you haven't got a question, is this person looking? Like there's no judge, no one's judging you. You can honestly be yourself without it. It's like being out here is like being straight back at home. Something I never thought I'd experience. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Cheers. It's been an amazing time. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Look at us. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,